was a problem for me. Athleticism over technique. Okay, me and Adrian had a little talk about that yeah. last night too. Okay, it's good to be athletic, guys. What it's not good is to sacrifice technique for athleticism. Okay, what I mean by that is in, a lot of times, especially when you're first starting out, like I'd say from white to mid-level blue, you might have, especially if you're an athlete, you know, a very athletic guy, you might have a tendency to, or strength too, not just, you know, speed. You know, you might have a tendency, instead of using technique, to try to push somebody off of you or try to create a scramble. Um, you guys want to try to avoid that as much as you can. Um, it works sometimes at your level, at the lower levels. You might catch somebody off guard, all right? But down the line, it's gonna cost you, okay? Um, it almost is similar to one of the reasons why you guys don't learn a lot of leg locks early on. Um, it's because you'll sacrifice passing the guard going for a leg lock, okay? A lot of times you sacrifice good technique trying to be athletic, all right? Another thing I wanna warn you guys against too is getting caught up in the flashy techniques, okay? Don't concentrate on this much of jiu-jitsu ever, okay? Like one thing that's been going around is this barambolo, okay? It's a great technique, it's awesome, okay? It's not for everybody, and it's not something you wanna base your whole entire game around, okay? Um, it'd be kinda like, you know, because I know how to do a flying arm bar, doesn't mean I wanna try to do a flying arm bar every time I roll with somebody, okay? It's a good move to have in your arsenal, but it doesn't make it always a good idea. You gotta use timing and setups to set things up, okay? That's why we teach the way that we teach. You like, like with the stand-up, we had a couple moves that worked well together, okay? Sometimes three or four moves that work well together, like the guard pass, okay? I'm not gonna pass Miguel's guard every single time with the first technique we did, right? He knows, he's gonna catch on, he's gonna learn too. So learn how to defend. So it's how I tie the moves together that make them work. All right, I might get number one. Okay, you might defend number one. I might have to go number two. I might go number three. I might go from one to four. Okay. Technique, guys. Technique and timing is the real trick to jujitsu. Okay. 